what is the difference between inter-app audio and audio unit V3? And the easiest way to show this is to actually show it. <laughs> so well, I've got my track here. I've just created this track. It's a little wooden wind track. It sounds like this. Very jaunty little ditty. And what we're going to do is I'll show you how we can add a piano using an external instrument. I'm going to use Ravenscroft 275. It's one of my favorite piano instruments. It's not cheap. There are other third-party plugins that you can use using the same method if you want to play around with it yourself. So we're going to come over here to external. And what you'll notice here is there's two options here. There's audio unit extensions and there's inter-app audio. Let's tap firstly on inter-app audio. And here's all of my inter-app audio plugins. I'm going to grab this one, the Ravenscroft 275, and it's going to bring up our instrument like this. We can play it. And we can record in. So what I'm going to do is record. Now, what you'll notice here is that we're not in GarageBand anymore. It's actually opened up this app, but we've got this little window here of GarageBand that's going to link us back to GarageBand. So if we want to record in here using this, uh, this app, we hit record there. It starts recording. When we're done... We stop it. And now if we want to go back to GarageBand, we tap on this GarageBand icon. And what you'll notice here is it's recorded in this sound. So it's pretty darn cool technology, yeah? You can see here it's grabbed this instrument. If we tap there, it takes us back to Ravenscroft. If we tap there, we go back to GarageBand. And if we tap on there, you can see it's saying, this is the interrupt audio that we're using. So it's basically using another app and then recording the sound from that app directly into GarageBand. Here's the downside. If you come here to your tracks view, what's going to happen is it's recording it as an audio file. So if we play this back here now, take a listen. So it's not bad, but did you notice that some of the timing on some of those notes was not exactly perfect? We can't fix that, or at least not easily, because there's no edit function in here. If we come in here, we can go to our settings, we can change a few things like the gain and the speed and the looping, but we can't actually edit that audio. So what do you do? Well, you can use another technology called AUV3 or Audio Unit Plugin. And we do that by tapping here. And this time we're going to go Audio Unit Extensions. You get a very similar sort of menu here with all of your AUV3. Now, keep in mind, some instruments are only interrupt audio and some are only AUV3 and some allow you to do both. That's why I'm using Ravenscroft here because it lets you use both. So we'll tap on Ravenscroft 275. Now, what you'll notice different here is instead of it loading the app, it's actually embedded the app right here inside, inside GarageBand. So this time when we record, if we come back out to here, we'll just mute that first piano so that we're not playing this twice. We'll bring our other instruments back in here. And this time, if we tap here to go back to our instrument, let's, let's record this one in here. So we hit record and... Now, I played that really badly, yeah? You could tell that that was not a great performance there because it just wasn't in time and it didn't sound good. But here's the beauty part. Because it's recorded in here as a virtual instrument, we can tap it and we can edit it. And look at this. We can actually edit any of the notes that we want here. So anytime I made a bit of a boo-boo or I'm out of time or whatever, I can actually edit those here using AUV3. If we play it back here now... <laughs> So, da, da, I can change the position of that. I can do that. And some of these notes I didn't hit hard enough, like this one. I can change the velocity of that. Make it hit harder. So now... And we could even do, uh, do fancy things like quantizing. So if we come to here and we go up to our little icon there, we can go to track settings, quantization, let's go swing quantization. We'll do one eighth note uh, light swing. And now it's going to line this back up on the grid and it should put it much closer to being in time with our original song. <laughs> You can hear then that the velocities I'd need to change around there. But that is the key difference here between your two types of external instruments here. Your audio unit 
allows you to record in as a green MIDI track that you can then edit, you can then transpose, you can then quantize to your heart's content. If you're using interrap audio, it still works great, but you then don't have the ability to edit. So if you make a mistake with that one, you'd have to come in here and delete it and then re-record that one back in using the same method. So there you go. That's the difference between interrap audio and AUV3.